everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called dobutamine, and its brand name is Dobutrix. So it falls under the class of sympathomimetics, inotropic agents, and vasopressors. The mechanism of action, or the way that it works in the body. It acts directly on the beta-1 receptors to increase myocardial contractility and stroke volume, and this ultimately increases the cardiac output, but it has minimal effect on the chronotropic activity or the heart rate. Your indications are going to be cardiogenic shock with pulmonary edema, severe CHF exacerbation, left ventricular dysfunction. As always, before we get into dosages, please always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is going to be an infusion rate set at 2 to 20 mics per keg per minute, and this will be titrated to effect. Your common mix of dobutamine that you'll see out in the field is 250 milligrams in a 250 ml D5W bag, and this produces a concentration of 1 milligram per ml. But always check your concentrations. Your pediatric dose is going to be one microgram per kilogram per minute. Contraindications include tachy dysrhythmias, known poison, drug-induced shock, or hypersensitivity. Adverse reactions of dobutamine include headache, palpitations, feeling of tingliness, chest pain, nausea, vomiting, dyspnea, and dysrhythmias. And drug interactions include that it is incompatible with sodium bicarbonate and also furosemide or Lasix. Um, you do run the risk of a hypertensive crisis when it's used in conjunction with tricyclic antidepressants. Beta blockers can also antagonize the effects of dobutamine. So. Okay, a few side notes about dobutamine. Unlike with dopamine, this medication is actually synthetic and it is ideal for cardiogenic shock and heart failure. Although it directly acts on your beta-1 receptors, it does have some effect on your beta-2 receptors and causes some peripheral vasodilation. The onset is typically two minutes after after the infusion begins and the duration is about one to two minutes after the infusion is discontinued. And just something to remember on the side is that elderly patients may actually have a decreased response to dobutamine. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. I will see you next Monday. Bye!